before my light fades, I wanted to show you some improvements I've made to the 7x7 Suncast shed, which I'm sure is similar to Craftsman and all the other 7x7 sheds you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. So the uh, the shed itself is, you know, it's plastic. It's a little wobbly. Um, so first improvement I made was getting the, uh, the anchor because you know, this thing is just made of plastic, so got the anchor running up and through, over to the other side. 32 inch ground anchors in there, and then it runs back and uh, it's hooked up to a turnbuckle. Um, so that's just to kind of keep it from blowing away, but the, uh, the ricketiness of the shed itself is something that is hard to, to fix um, with just that. So, what I ended up doing, uh, open up. Oh yeah, big reveal. Um, so I built basically a, a frame around the perimeter here. And so you can see I have uh, five foot studs just running to the, the ground and I've got pocket holes, but deck screws in there instead of just the pocket screws um, connecting it to the deck. So now I've got some place to hang these from. Uh, I don't know what you want to call them, joists, uh, just pieces of wood. Um, but anyway, they'll sit on top of those five foot uh, two by fours and they go all the way around and uh, you can see there's a little door brace and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but having these in here by itself wouldn't work. So they are affixed to each other in here with pocket screws, um, but they are affixed to the shed from the outside and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I got some fast track on there. That's made the main reason why I wanted to put these in was have something to put some extra storage, but also uh, make this stead a little uh, sturdier and pushing on it um, before you know this this wall would bow out with that with the slightest push. Uh, so now it's a lot sturdier. And I'll go out, show you the securement securing points. Um, so you can see it's well, it's not the prettiest. Um, these are uh, rubber coated washers, well, rubber back washers, uh, with some 1 and 5 eighths, 5 eighths inch deck screws, so everything's kind of waterproof, weatherproof, and just a you know, four going down there, uh, I've got some of those vertical posts there and there, getting behind the shed, uh, with very little clearance here, that's a bit difficult, but got those, so that is how that's being held together, and the door brace, I wasn't going to do, but I had some leftover pieces. I had a bunch of three foot pieces because I have all these five foot uh, studs, or whatever I call them, uh, cut and then three foot sections left over. So, and this is all, you know, eight two by fours, which these days will run you about $150. Uh, nah, not really, but it, it's, lumber's not cheap. Uh, but anyway, uh, I decided to make this brace for the door frame and here's why. So the unbraced side, which I left to, to demonstrate this, is very ugh, it's very wobbly. So these doors, when they're going in and out, they are wobbling like that. Contrast that to this side. I don't know if I can show you here, but it won't move. So it's pretty well secured there. Um, so this door is gonna be a lot sturdier. It's not gonna it's not going to keep bowing out, and that was the, the, the fear is that over time this plastic is going to conform to this bowed out structure, so this door is going to keep migrating that way slightly. So this will pull it back into place, which it already did on the other side, and uh, keep everything a little sturdier. So just uh, some tips on how to make your 7x7 shed a little bit sturdier and a little less prone to falling over if somebody leans on it the wrong way.